but we were talking to a coach the other day that was actually on our app and they were talking about um, how we teach the load. Well, if you notice, a lot of our hitters have very different loads, right? So we have some hitters that are doing like a no stride, some are just a heel pickup, sometimes they have a big leg a lift, sometimes they're turning in, um, sometimes they're bringing their knees more close to each other, maybe even a toe tap, maybe the leg's off the ground, maybe it's not. Why are all these loads different? Why do you see so much variance in how people load? Some of it, yes, is just style, but also other things actually have to do, right, around the core of the universe here, right, our pelvis. The pelvis actually will develop asymmetries over time, and also too, some of us have wider pelvises, sometimes we have muscle tension that is tighter in certain areas. Um, all these things we kind of talk about through our curriculum, all these other things, but as you would notice, right, like let's say somebody has a, a like massive anterior tilt, if he actually drops into a squat, you'll see certain guys like Mookie Betts and some of those guys, as they do more of this like pump move and they like sit almost as they load, that actually will pop the pelvis back underneath the body and actually help you stretch to the glutes. Some hitters actually need a little bit of this side move, right? Or almost like a slight sway where they get a little bit more stacked over their backside. As they do that, maybe their, their pelvis naturally sits like this. As they do that little sway, it actually gets them back aligned. They're not hiking it up, they're actually just getting back to neutral. That's another way, right? Some guys, again, even a leg lift, even sometimes with a little asymmetry. I can pick up my front, uh, my front leg and it will actually cause me again to get back to more of a neutral spot where I can get that stretch. So again, these are all these different ways when we actually look into anatomy, why certain guys get tensions in different ways by how they move and why they do the load that they do before they swing.